नमस्ते वेलकम टू द गाइडेंस क्लासेस टेलीकास्टिंग बाय अ टी सेट इन पॉइंट ऑफ द ग्रुप वन सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इंडियन हिस्टरी द तेलंगाना हिस्टरी इज इट्स ओन रिकग्नेशन एंड सिग्निफिकेंस and the major part of telangana history significant uh, things are telangana movement because uh, by the nearly 50 years five decades uh, uh, agitation finally we achieved uh, the telangana state so lot of things happens so many committees so many parties so and so many agitations all these things happens uh, finally uh, we achieved the bangar telangana a new state as 28th state of in the india country correct okay now in this scenario we are going to discuss uh, about the telangana movement uh, so the sri krishna committee report and uh, in the previous episode we discussed about uh, uh, the the sri krishna ka committee proposals and what are the uh, the proposals uh, we are going to discuss it now okay so the eighth schedule was uh, kept in secret in fine art five pages sri krishna re uh, report here there are two um, there are given six proposals here so one already i you know that the first um, proposal best proposal from the sri krishna committee report at uh, this they want to keep the telangana andhra as undivided united andhra pradesh and to and they will form a telangana a regional a committee this is a one of the option second option telangana andhra pradesh is going to be bifurcated as two as simandhra and telangana hyderabad will be a capital for telangana and a new capital will be given for the simandhra correct and eighth schedule was kept as a secret but uh, high court is not admitted to to keep uh, eighth schedule as a secret what the sequences uh, consequences happens we are going to discuss it now the judgments also quoted that the sri krishna committee report uh, on eighth chapter and said the maneuver is suggested by the committee in its secret supplementary note poses an open challenge if not threat to the very system of democracy the eighth chapter was not make public after division bench comprising the chief justice of the ap high court has stayed the order of justice l narasimha reddy hence the facts of the comments of the judge on eighth chapter remain un un unverified this is a very very important still they are not unverified very fair it's uh, kept into unverified only now we are going to discuss about the non cooperation movement and the million march this is a uh, another big uh, lap in the telangana movement here non cooperation movement and million march okay we are going to discuss uh, those thing here on 17th february 2011 a non cooperation movement was started which lasted for 16 days with the participation by nearly 3 lakh government employees it caused a loss of nearly 8 billion rupees per day in the revenue of the government in february and march assembly sessions was boycotted for weeks and parliament sessions was disrupted for several days by telangana representatives so this is the things happens here on 17th february 2011 already non cooperation movement already started and uh, this non cooperation movement was uh, uh, continued for 16 days with the participation of 3 lakh uh, government employees and they did not support to the government they are not doing any cooperation with the government and it causes nearly 8 billion rupees per day revenue to the government so and uh, in march and uh, february the assembly sessions were totally boycotted and uh, more nearly weeks the parliament sessions was also disturb disrupted for several days by telangana representatives okay so that's a non cooperation movement from the telangana region 
The next one is Million March. The Million March was organized by Telangana JIC Joint Action Committee in Hyderabad on 10th March 2011. This is a one more a very important bit. On 10th March 2011, Million March was, uh, was held at Hyderabad and led by the Joint Action Committee. Many Simandra bounded people were dropped into Hyderabad city to stop the Telangana movement. So, the Simandra people of Simandra uh, religion of region, sir, Simandra region police were dropped into Hyderabad city to stop this uh, Telangana movement and million march. In a move to disrupt the march, Simandra police arrested over thousands of, of activities, activities throughout the region and closed down entry to the Hyderabad. So, these people, police people arrested so many people who are uh, uh, participating in this million march uh, in the boundaries of the Hyderabad only and they are not allowed uh, uh, any entry those people into Hyderabad city by stopping certain transportation services and diverting traffic also. So, the, at the borders of the Hyderabad they stop all the, the people who are not no, who are willing who are coming to uh, participate in the million march they are arrested and uh, uh, the transport facilities also are stopped there. Okay. About 50,000 people reached the venue of the march. The tank band was uh, hoodwinking police. Telangana activities, activities damaged 16 statues of personalities of representing Andhra culture and through some of the remnant end into the lake. So, so they uh, at that time these for the people who have who are participated in the million march nearly around 50,000 people uh, reached the venue of this march at Tankban and they destructed the 16 statues of the, the personalities who are representing Andhra culture okay. and drew some of the remnants into the lake. Some parts of that statues uh, they thrown into the lake that one happened. In November 2011, Telangana Rashtra Samiti Vijjarthi Vibhagam TRSV Telangana Rashtra Samiti Vijjarthi Vibhagam TRSV a state president Balak Suman was arrested by the Hyderabad police after cases were registered against him in connection with the damaging statues on tank burn during the million march attacking police personnel so damaging police and Simandra media vehicles. So, uh, at the, um, the impact was on the Telangana Rashtra Samiti Vijayadi Vibhagam uh, state president Balak Suman. Now, he is, uh, he is the spokesperson for the Telangana uh, Rashtra Samiti uh, party uh, spokesperson now the Balak Suman uh, is at the time he was the president of uh, TRSV. So, he was arrested because of uh, uh, attacking on the police personnel, damaging the police and Simandra media vehicles because in the during the uh, million march this happened. So, here the question may come and so who is the president state president of uh, TRSV uh, in 2011 they may ask it as that is Balak Suman and mass resignations this is a, another impact happens in from April, uh, April till June, the movement saw a lull with the different parties uh, 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 citing various reasons and fresh deadlines to renew the agitation. In July, actually the each and every party is giving a deadline for the formation of uh, a separate Telangana from a, April to June. This was happens. In July, 81 of 119 Telangana MLS in the state, 12 out of 15 Telangana ministers in state, 13 out of 17 Telangana MPs in Lok Sabha, 1 Rajya Sabha MP that is Congress from Congress, 20 MLSs resigned protesting delay in the formation of Telangana. This is another step taken by the especially uh, these uh, uh, legislatures and member of parliaments. Out of 119 Telangana MLS, 81 MLS and out of 15 ministers, 12 ministers and out of 17 uh, Telangana MPs, 13 Telangana MPs 
and uh, one Rajya Sabha, of course, he is from Congress party, and uh, 20 MLCs, all these are resigned their posts and to protest against the delay in the formation of Telangana. This is a major event happens after the million march, means a massive resignations from the all kinds of uh, dignitaries that is um, ministers, MLAs, MLC and MP uh, means uh, uh, MP from Lok Sabha and MPs from Rajya Sabha. On 20th July uh, 30, this is a, and one more actually this is a maybe uh, 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 what the thing here means it diverted and it, it shows the way for the formation of uh, Telangana that is uh, on 20th July a 30 years old uh, uh, young person Yadiredi was found dead 100 yards from the parliament house in Delhi. An 8 page suicide note says that the young driver from the greater Hyderabad region of Telangana was upset over the government not creating a new state for his homeland. The speaker of the Andhra Pradesh assembly on 23rd July summarily rejected the resignations of all 101 MLS citing that they were made in an emotionally surcharged atmosphere. So, actually the first person uh, who committed a suicide uh, for, uh, for getting a, a separate Telangana that is a, a 30th old young man that is Yadi Reddy was found dead just 100 yards from the parliament house in Delhi. 8 page suicide note also write that the young driver, he is a driver from the greater Hyderabad region of Telangana was upset over the government not creating a new state for his homeland. The speaker of the assembly because already just now I said, so um, uh, nearly 101 MLAs are submitted their resignations out of 119 from the uh, Telangana region. So, the assembly speaker is not accepted the resignations of these uh, 101 MLAs and he said they done this uh, thing by the emotionally surcharged atmosphere. So, he is not accepting emotionally they did it. So, for that reason, so he is not accepting the resignations of the MLA. All Telangana MPs who earlier submitted their resignations and were boycotting the parliament sessions also decided to attend the parliament monsoon session sitting Sonia Gandhi's ill health. So, uh, even uh, Telangana um, MPs as a member of parliament also uh, submitted their resignations and were boycotting the parliament sessions. They are not attending the uh, parliament sessions, decided to attend the parliament monsoon session because uh, Sonia Gandhi is at the time Sonia Gandhi uh, suffering with uh, ill. So, uh, because of Sonia Gandhi ill, Ill health, uh, so they who, re, who submitted their resignations for this uh, from uh, Telangana region, those people, those MPs are attended the parliament monsoon session. On 12th September 2011, a day before Sakala Janula Samme, this one happened, Sakala Janula Samme, all people strike. This is what the meaning of uh, uh, Sakala Janula Samme means all people strike. Uh, TRS Telangana Rashtra Samiti organized a public meeting in Karimnagar which was attended by the over million people. Over million people was attended a public meeting which was organized by the TRS. So, on 12th September 2011, uh, a day before a Sakala General Samay was uh, conducted. So, including uh, the TJC leaders, Telangana Joint Action Committee uh, leaders, BJP and New Democracy Party leaders also. Uh, participated in this Sakala General Assembly, so which is launched on 12th September 2011. Starting 13th September, as a part of strike by all sections of people, that is Sakala General Assembly, supporting Telangana statehood, government employees throughout the Telangana stayed out of the work, lawyers boycotted their courts, 60,000 coal miners of Singareni calories also joined in the, the strike. Even uh, the government of government teachers, State Road Transport Corporation means TSRTC, RTC employees and State Electricity Board employees joined in the strike. 
So, on from 13th September, so all the employees, all the people are participated in this strike. Okay. So, means here not only so generally the employees throughout the Telang Telangana government employees boycotted the work, lawyers also boycotted their courts, 60,000 uh, coal miners of Sangirani calories also joined in the strike, government teachers, all the government te teachers are participating in the strike and uh, TSRTC means of course, now TSRTC previously it is APSRTC, road transport corporation employees also participate in the strike, electricity board employees also join in the strike. On a call given by the joint action committee, road block blockades on the national highways throughout the Telangana rail blockade and the strike of auto rickshaws union were organized on 24th and uh, 25th uh, September. Means, uh, and so in Sanskrit we call it as astadigbandhanam like uh, so all the employees, all the people participated in the uh, strike and the roads, national highways are blockades and even rail roads also blocked and the auto rickshaw people also union also uh, made a strike on 24th and 25th September causing disruption in transport service. Virtually all section of people joined in the strike, all, all kinds of people means students or all kind of employees all are participated in this strike. On 30th September, as a strike entered into the 18th day, even while Congress central leadership met several times Telangana Congress leaders, JC called a bond in Hyderabad city. So, again uh, joint action committee uh, conducted a bond on 30th September. On 2nd October, JC leaders, employees, employee unions leaders and TRS leaders including KCR met Prime Minister to explain the situation in Telangana due to the strike and asked the expedited the, the decision on the statehood demand. So, uh, the TRS leaders, JIC leaders, even with the KCR, they met with the Prime Minister and explained the uh, actual situation uh, the, uh, in the Telangana movement and what are the uh, consequences happens. Uh, in the strike period. On 30th September, as a strike entered into the 18th day, of course, uh, already 18th, so it is the 18th day, so they represented here. Due to rail blockade of call, on 15th October, 110 trains were cancelled, 68 trains were diverted by authorities. The railways operated 12 trains and Hyderabad metro trains with full police protection. Telangana protesters try to have sit on the rail platforms on railway tracks at various places. Police are arrested thousands of protest protesters including uh, 8 MPs and 4 MLAs. This has happened. See means here now we can understand the heat of uh, uh, Telangana movement here. On 16th October, public transport employees called off the strike. Within days, other other unions too called the strike on uh, one after another. After 42 days, on 24th October, remaining employees unions called off the strike. M. Kodanram said the strike had impacted the overall thinking of the center towards the creation of the separate state and the movement will continue with other protest activities. So, like Though, so, they gear up the movement, they are doing a strike all the by a million march, Sakala General Same, all the employees, all the people are participated, even transport employees also means uh, uh, TSRTC employees, even uh, auto rickshaw drivers, cab drivers, everyone is conducted a strike on it. On 29th October 2011, three Congress party MLAs belonging to the Telangana region resigned and joined in TRS in protest as they were disappointed with the Congress leadership delay in Telangana state formation. So, oh, the Congress uh, leaders uh, patience was completely shortened. So, then, so on 29th October 2011, 
three Congress party MLAs belong to the Telangana region, they resigned uh, from their Congress party and joined into Telangana Rashtra Samiti to protest they were as they were disappointed with the Congress leadership uh, delay in the formation of Telangana state. On 1st November, the Congress MLA Komatred Venkatredi started an indefinite hunger strike until the central government announced a road map for the Telangana state. Okay. So, um, so even uh, the Congress MLAs also uh, lose their patience, uh, the unrest among them is increased. On 1st November, the Congress MLA Komatred Venkatredi has started an indefinite hunger strike until the central government is announced a road map for the Telangana state. After 5 days, the fast was broken when police arrested him under section 309 of IPC means here. So, this is also very important. So, here which section uh, is, so is a right to um, which section will it uh, will allow to uh, take up uh, arrest you against the suicide means here if you any person attempt the uh, or commit the suicide under section 309 of uh, IPC the police will arrest those people here. Okay. So, the Komatred Venkatredi is uh, arrested and his hunger strike was broken uh, by using the section 309 of IPC and shifted him to the NIMS Hyderabad, where he was kept under uh, intravenous fluids. So, the intravenous fluids were uh, uh, given to the Komatred Venkatredi, he ended his fast on 9th November. So, the MLA Komatredi Venkatredi is uh, uh, started the hunger strike to get uh, a road map for the formation of Telangana state. Okay. Uh, the one more important phenomena happens, uh, maybe in the examination also the, the same question was asked, uh, who is uh, the freedom fighter uh, started uh, agitation for the formation of Telangana state that is a 97 year old freedom fighter Konda Lakshman Bapuji also launched his week long Satyagraha at Jantar Mantar in New Delhi demanding statehood to the region. This is a one more important uh, uh, synopsis for you for the preparation of examination as, as a part of uh, Telangana movement. A 97 year old freedom fighter Konda Lakshman Bapuji also launched his week long Satyagraha at Jantar Mantar in New Delhi demanding statehood to the region. This is a very So, I will show that. So, I will discuss uh, uh, one session with uh, multiple choice questions which were asked in the examination. There the question was asked, the same question was asked who is a, um, the freedom fighter uh, did Satyagraha at Jantar Mantar in New Delhi for demanding statehood to the region is Konda Lakshman Bapuji. Clear? Okay. Now, so no, we are um, already we discussed from uh, uh, 1999 to uh, 2011 what are the things happens. Now, we are moving to the next stage at 2012. Correct? Okay. So, we are inching because a uh, second November 2014 is the formation of Telangana state. So, now we are moving to the uh, inching to the to the 2012 means sir. So we are inching to the uh, Telangana movement. Now we will see. So what in two? What is 2012 here? In two in January, BJP led a uh, state party led by B state pa party president Kishan Reddy. And so in uh, January in 2000, uh, uh, okay. So that is in 2012 at uh, the time BJP president. State president was Kishan Reddy. He started a 22 day Telangana Poor Yatra. Telangana Poor Yatra was uh, led by Kishan Reddy across 88 assembly constitutions, uh, stressing the need for Telangana state. Through the tour, was successful uh, in reiterating the party's pro Telangana stance. It could not garner as much support as hoped because of the indifferent attitudes of the TRS and TGAC. Okay. So, actually at the time uh, uh, the BJP uh, state president 
and the Kishan Reddy now he is the uh, minister for tourism, a central minister for tourism now the Kishan Reddy. So, at that time he was the state president for the BJP. Uh, he started a 22 day uh, Telangana Pori Yatra, Telangana Pori Yatra and he um, so he visited uh, 8, 20, 88 assembly constituents uh, stressing the need for Telangana state, what is the need for formation of Telangana state and through his tour of course, uh, the tour was uh, successful uh, and re reiterating the parties pro Telangana stance. So, through this uh, Pori Yatra uh, just he penetrate the ideology of that is party. So, uh, uh, how the party was uh, favor in the formation of Telangana, it could be not garner as much support as he hoped because of the, uh, the indifferent attitude of the TRS and TGAC. So, maybe uh, TGAC is supported and TRS is not supported uh, because of there is an indifferent uh, attitude between the TRS and uh, TGAS. So, he is unable to continue. Uh, of course, the uh, Pori Yatra may be, uh, may be uh, the Pori Yatra uh, done by the Kishan Reddy as uh, get success, but the impact of that Pori Yatra will not give more impact for the formation of uh, a new state at Telangana, because the very important thing is indifferent attitude of the TRS and TJAC. So, the, even though he, he visited uh, nearly 88 assembly constituencies uh, and he for 22 days uh, uh, march among all these uh, 88 assemblies, but finally, the impact will not be given. Okay. So, we will discuss after uh, 2012 what will happen, how we achieved uh, Telangana as a 28th state of India, we will discuss in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.